Grasslands of the Great Plains are one of the most imperiled ecosystems in the world. This place is teeming with wildlife, from mountain plovers to burrowing owls to prairie dogs. It's alive. The Blackfooted Ferret, or the masked bandit of the prairie as we like to refer to it, are a highly elusive nocturnal species. You can't see them during the day. You have to go out at night. And there are fewer than 300 individuals in the wild today. The primary prey item for the Blackfooted Ferret are prairie dogs. It's really important that the areas where ferrets are reintroduced have the capacity to support large numbers of ferrets. Because surveying for prairie dog colony size and density takes so long on foot and by ATV, we are testing the application of unmanned aerial systems to assess whether we can speed that process up. We recruited experts from many fields, Bayron LLC and Idaho State University, TopCon, and the Fort Belknap Fish and Wildlife Department. This is giving them an exact 3D representation of what's on the ground. So it, it's going to fly 65 miles an hour. We can collect somewhere in the neighborhood between 30 and 40 million points in a 40 minute flight that would take somebody on the ground infinitely longer to capture that same collection. Those images will get stitched together and we'll be able to assess prey dog colony size and density from those images. So if the application of unmanned aerial systems to monitor black-footed ferret habitat is successful and efficient, we're hoping we can replicate that at other sites. You know, with the World Wildlife Fund there, providing the expertise and, you know, the technology like this here, this is an experimental technology, but, you know, I think it's going to be some, some positive results that come out of it. And it's all, all about conservation, you know. Now we're really excited to, to be part of it uh, because I do think that this is a world's first groundbreaking type of application and there'll be a lot more in the future. And we couldn't be more thrilled to be here contributing to that historical moment in time and to complete that picture of prairie ecosystem as a whole that restores what was once here 100 years ago and to remove the black-footed ferret from the endangered species list.